So, good morning everybody. Hope everyone's well. So, this morning we are painting a uh, Inquisitor's tie in a scheme that I've recently done. Um, so, I'm going to start um, and break it into a couple of pieces and we'll, we'll get cracking. Well, thanks for the follow Mindits. That's great. Thank you. So first job is, <clears throat> this is going to be sort of a dark black. So to get my dark black or dark grey even, we have uh, a black and grey mix that I'm going to dry brush all over the model just to pick out the, the little details. So for this mix, I'll be using two colours. So we've got Abaddon Black and Mechanicus Standard Grey. So it's like a, a three parts black, one part grey. So let's wipe all that paint off the brush. So with this, I'm just being quite liberal. It's just going to get and pick up all those sort of high, them high edges. So I'm just going to get flying off the peg. That's a good start. Try again. <laughs> a bit of comedy for the morning. That's a good start. up all those uh, top surfaces. Brush I'm using here is just a normal like artist paintbrush, nothing miniature specific, just lots of brish bristles. Like I say, you're wiping it mostly off anyway. So what we'll do with this, we do it in two stages. Put your first coat down, like I say, just picks out all them little details. And then we add a touch more grey into the mix. do with this lighter colour and I'll just give it a dusting on these top edges You'll probably just see how that picked up the uh, the edge of the canopy quite well once you get to this lighter colour And literally with this dry brushing technique, there's literally no paint on the brush, so you're not blobbing it everywhere. And what it does is just pick up the details within those wings as well on the panels.
Okay, and that's it. So on the next stage of that, it will, um, when we come to the highlight later, um, that'll just pick out all the edges. <clears throat> that's a quick and easy way how to paint black. Let's give it a nice dark gray dry brush first. It just picks out them little faint edges and just gives it a little bit of contrast. Okay, so now next stage is to move on to the glass. So what I'm going to do now is create a mix to go in. So it's going to be red glass that we're going to do. So base color I'm going to use. So for the canopy or the glass, I'm going to use three colors. Uh, we're going to use these three. So we've got Rhinox Hide, which I'm going to mix with Mephiston Red to create the base colour. Then we'll highlight up with the Mephiston Red. And then once it's pure Mephiston Red, we'll add a bit of Uriel Yellow in. And that will highlight it up. So let's get going. Okay, so I'll just mix that colour on my palette. So, so being as neat as possible, getting it just inside. Paintbrush right into the the nooks and crannies. So I'm using a size zero here. Again, Artist Opus brushes. Got a nice good point on this uh, on this brush that I can control. Gets it right into the corners. You can see I move the model around a lot when I'm painting. Just means I've always got the best angle with my brush to stay neat and tidy. Yeah, so good morning to the chat. Give us a hello if you're in there. You know who's watching this morning. And then obviously, as always, thank you for watching. red is all inside that panel if you can see it it's very dark at the moment so you can't really see too much but once we'll start highlighting we'll get it okay so now we want to put a bit of red into these top panels here again using my size zero brush it just fits perfectly into these little glass panels in the top of the cockpit try and be really neat with this bit because Obviously, you've already half done the grey on the outside. But it wouldn't be a problem if you did get a little bit on there. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit more Mephiston Red into the mix. And start highlighting that glass canopy. 
So essentially what I'll do on this part is we'll paint the middle section. So stay away from the edges, just fill it in and move and kind of fill it towards the top of the glass as well. Because what we're going to do, we're going to build up this sort of reflection on the red towards the top of each panel. So especially when it comes to these bottom panels, we highlight the top of it rather than the bottom. Okay, so that's the first highlight done. And then again, a little bit on these top sections, I try and highlight it towards the middle of these panels because that's where the light above will catch it. Okay, so that's that little bit done. Then again, add a little bit more red. So this process is pretty quick. And I'll be, uh, I'll be releasing some videos soon on how to do all these little bits of detail. You know, you could literally just paint this onto a normal ship take it out of the packet you know little task of of doing your your glass canopies a different color something really simple that somebody could get started with you know and if you just know how to do it easily and quickly that could be the start of you you know doing some painting yourselves which is what it's all about everybody needs to enjoy the hobby and the good thing about X-Wing is that you don't really need to paint, but if you want to, there's a lot of opportunity to do some really cool stuff. Let's like say all the history and the lore behind it all, it's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. So again, highlight with this brighter red now towards the middle of these glass panels. A little dab in there for that one too. Hopefully you can kind of see this, but it is still quite dark. But the colours are building up. Oh, thank you for the follow, Y Faults. <laughs> okay, so again, let's add a bit more red into that mix. So we're heading up towards almost a, a pure Mephisto red highlight now. So a bit more red in the mix now. Oh, and fun down as well. Thank you for the follow. So thanks for tuning in, guys. It's nice to see some fresh names in the chat. Uh, whereabouts did you uh, did you come across my channel? Did you uh, did you see the post on Facebook to say I was going live? So with this red now, I'm just highlighting sort of the top half of each panel now. Hopefully you can sort of see that without the glare. I'm trying to get it right. But it's quite a dark red anyway. Okay, there we go. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so with this highlighted red as well, we are just going to highlight again the middle of these panels, just building up these layers slowly. Like I said, it's a lovely rich red colour that we're using. 
you know, starting off with that dark brown really comes up nice. Oh, thank you, Fun Dan. And Y Falls, thank you for uh, choosing this model, pal. It's um, I've decided I'm just going to stream whenever I do any painting at the minute, so you can see firsthand how it's been created. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move all the way up to uh, the pure Mephiston red now. So I've literally done three layers so far. This is the fourth highlight. So again, I'm going to concentrate now just on the real top edges of the glass. I'm working in a circular motion. And that kind of sets it up now ready for when we start adding a bit of yellow in in a second. But all I'm gonna do is paint the top six panels now. So I'm gonna leave the bottom two panels because they're gonna be in the shade. These top six are gonna pick up the light uh, and then obviously the, the main central glass panel here is your, is your real focal point. So let's pick that up nicely. And then back onto these top panels. So I'm just gonna do a little line in the top middle now rather than working it to both ends. Okay, that's that done. Okay, now to start adding a little bit of yellow for that real nice glow. So fun, Dan, you'll be, uh, you'll be happy to hear. I don't know if you saw updated pictures of, of this one. So that's where I'm up to so far with the Sauvage Oppress Fire Spray. Um, and then literally this morning, I've just undercoated his brother. So soon I'll be doing some videos on this as well. So lots of projects on the go at the minute. It's uh, very busy. Okie doke. So like I said, let's get some yellow into this red mix. And also guys, feel free to share this stream around. Uh, if you've got anyone that you think that might enjoy watching, then please uh, give them a shout. That'd be great. You know, love uh, you guys joining in and, and watching me paint. Okay, so I've mixed in some yellow now. So this is going to be a final sort of real bright highlight across the top of each of these panels. Hopefully you can kind of see how that's taken that on that top of that panel there. So here, I'm just going to highlight just on the inside edge. Top of that panel a little bit. Top of that panel. Just a little line at the top of the glass. Okay, so you sort of see how that's highlighting itself at the minute. Let's see if I can... So you can just see how that's working. So that's looking really nice. And now just a tiny, tiny bit. So this is, be what, the sixth and final layer. So a little bit more yellow. And this is kind of a bit more of an orange color now. But this is a tiny, tiny final highlight. Just in the top corner, right at the top of each panel. And then this just makes the, the colour just pop a little bit more. And you'll notice I left the top glass then when I was doing this one. It's only a small area. I don't want to put too much more paint on for the highlight. So I'm going to go back in a second and just add the tiny, tiny little dab of highlight. In a line. And there we go. And then what I'll also do there is I put a little bit of a wash on there too. Once it's dry. And to be fair, I'm only using really light, thin layers of paint. There's nothing thick going on here. Um, so now I'd get a little wash. So I use Agrax Earthshade. Um, another Citadel paint. Uh, I use... Product, well, I use all Citadel paints for my painting. So a little bit of that, of that on the palette. 
a little bit of extra water. I don't want it to be too thick. Then literally just a very light, light wash around the whole color. And that just makes it really sort of shine as well. Just adds a richness to the color that's just stunning. It just looks really nice. Same on the top two, just fill that gap up. And there we go. So that's the glass done for now. Uh, when we come back to that in a little while, we put a tiny, tiny white reflective dot on the, on the canopy. And what that does, that's just like a star reflection, just adds a bit more reflection onto the, what is glass. Okay, so now we can move on to uh, highlighting the grey or the black. So what I'll do now is I'll get my uh, Mechanica Standard Grey, which is the colour that I'll use for this. So August uh, follower goal is going well so far, so thank you to the guys that followed this morning. If, uh, if you're not a follower so far, please feel free to do so. You know, this is my first month of streaming. I'm looking to get up to 75. That's my goal. So we're at 60 already, which is really good. So thank you very much for all your support. You know, this is only the start for this channel. So you can, uh, you can say I was there. I was there when it started. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to start picking out some of these highlighted edges. So obviously we did the dry brush before some of these more prominent edges and we're just going to highlight them up so using the side of the brush for this top line here so that's the front of that section done And try and get it the same on both sides as well especially if you're using this video if you want to recreate this paint scheme you know feel free hopefully this will give you a little bit of information on how to do that so yes yeah, so i'm using mechanica's standard gray for this line highlight so what i'm going to do now um, around the canopy you can see these indentation lines so i'm going to highlight the top edge On one and the bottom edge as well at this stage and then go around the canopy and down as well and what this does it creates like a bit of a frame for when we do the actual canopy itself so all I'm going to do is highlight the very edge There, and you can just see already the definition of that 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 goes oh, good morning Alan thank you for the comment mate I'm glad you like it so let's do the same on the other side so we do the top edge and the bottom edge of that recess and then the edge highlight around the canopy And then again, just right at the front of the uh, the surrounding canopy on the glass, just highlight that up again, give it that contrast, and you can see that uh, detail there as well, and how it picks it out. So we're going to do that all the way around the front. I know it's a, a bottom edge, but highlight that bottom edge there. And front edge on this circular section. Just a tiny bit underneath. Again, I don't usually paint 
the full underside of any model that I do. Because at the end of the day, on the table, you don't see it. So it just saves time. You know, obviously, there's some people out there that like to, to paint all every single piece of the model. Um, but what I'd say to that is just follow the same principles for what I'm doing on the top. Uh, but every bit of the model you're going to be able to see should be painted. Okay, so I'm just painting around the, the very front edge again with the canopy seal. Okay, so you can see that on the front, sort of how it's highlighted all that up. So what we're going to do now is do a little bit of work on the top. So any of these forward facing edges, so the edges that your opponent's going to see when it's on the tabletop, highlight those. And as you get around the back, just sort of edge highlight towards the back. And then we've got this little elevated section here just lightly run your brush across the top and that just picks out those details okay let's get some fresh paint on the brush and then what we're going to do we're going to work on these top panels here and here and at the back as well so same principle just little lines in in the highlight sections just picking out little details but the key is making sure that we do that on the same part of the model on both sides. So on this back panel, just some straight lines. And then highlight this edge that runs all the way around the back. So obviously this is your groundwork. Obviously the main character of this model will come when we paint the outside of the wings in a second. So now as I'm working on this other side, just make sure I highlight in exactly the same positions as the other side. Again, with working with black, it's, it doesn't show it all off. So there you go, that's worked. So back edge of this ridge as well, just edge of the, or the side edge of the brush, just run that across it. It'll pick up the details and then just makes that top section stand out. Okay, and then I'll look for areas as I'm painting, I think, oh, that bit needs a touch. So I can see a little section there that needs a bit more. So let's get a little bit more paint on the palette. Touch of water in there and then I want to highlight this section here. So it looks like it's highlighting along with the back edge okay that's good and then we just need to highlight these ridges as well like the front of the model so a thin line above a thin line below so again I'm using my size zero brush here but it might be best using something a little bit finer just I've worked these tips now for a while and they're, they're a little bit thinner than a standard size brush that you take straight out of the box which is a little bit used um, but all you need is a good point on your brush you get a good point on your brush you can do any of this work as you move along okay so next section now so we've done all of the hull a little bit around the back that he's doing there and then again just a little highlight on them bottom edges just to make it look like it's thorough so that's fine okay so now we're going to do the the inner part of the canopy so again we thin brush so you're gonna to have to really sort of hold your model steady. I like to just draw my lines in straight lines, always down. You'll, as you watch my videos, you'll see most of my brush strokes are made from the top to the bottom in a single motion, and I'll move the model around so that it's a nice, simple brush stroke. So on here, 
Let's highlight the intersection. And what I want to try and do is just stay nice and on them top edges. Not too much on these bottom ones because these will have a little bit of shade. And then what we'll do is we'll paint the main inside section. Just take your time with this, but you don't want to slip onto your red. That'd be uh, not very good because you have to go back and correct it. Okay, so there you go. The inside bit of that's done. You can see how that's raised up. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we'll go on to the wings. So the wings with the dry brush from before, are virtually already done, believe it or not. So all we're going to do is sort of use the edge of the brush along all these sort of forward edges all the way around the wing. And then once you do it on all those edges, that's almost the highlight done for the outside. And then there's a couple of lines inside that we need to do. So yeah, so the dry brush we did before did a lot of the work for us. So there you go, it just picks out them edges. So now we've got the center section, there's a support strut across the top and the bottom. What we're gonna do is just put a line across the top of that. There's a highlight line. There you go, that's that one done. I'm going to do a bottom edge on that one as well. And around the bottom section. On there too. Turn the model around. As a lot of you know, I'm quite a quick painter. So it's not about completing every single detail. But I'm going to highlight all the center sections there. Hopefully you can kind of see that on the camera. Uh, PFO, good morning, thank you for the follow. Uh, Federal Chipmunk, good morning. Hope everybody's well. And then what we're going to do, we'll move on to this other side now and same principle on there as well. So let's get that edge done. So again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, make sure you give me a follow. Uh, there'll be lots of uh, painting streams coming up. Like I say, we've got um, lots of um, projects on the bench. Uh, for for the streams, like I say, we've got the the Savage Press fire spray. We've got the Mall fire spray coming too. Um, little projects like this that come in, uh, which I really enjoy doing. Uh, thank you for Y Falls for this one. Okay, so we've gone round. Let's highlight these inner edges now. So it's just a very subtle highlight on the inside. And then we need to paint these top edges of these struts as well. So if we've got um, any questions in the chat, you know, get involved, ask questions. You know, it's fantastic that you're here if you want to know anything or any little tips or tricks or if you want to discuss uh, lists you know for x-wing or the points changes or anything feel free stick something in the chat let's have a let's have a discussion about it like i say i've got my uh my phone is right in front of my face which is filming here and um i can still see all your comments on there which is nice but yeah if you want to discuss something give me a shout okay so that is pretty much all the highlights done on the inside of the model. 
the inside of the wings. And then all we've got to do now is just a quick highlight on the inner section out here on both wings. So a bit more paint on the, uh, on the palette. And then just these upper edges we're after. and all of them and then later on what we're going to do as well we'll pick out some of these little notches with a metallic color and then what that does it just again just highlights and breaks up the flat surfaces so on this hex that's here at the moment it's going to highlight the top five edges not the bottom edge I'm just going to whiz around the outside of this, although the inside of it later will be a metallic colour. Okay, and a little bit of the front. Just a bit around the front. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line straight down and highlight this edge. Because this is later, as you've seen in the other pictures, this is where the the Inquisitor's eye will go in there. Okay, so there's all your subtle highlights done for that section. Yeah. <laughs> so Federal Chipmunk, I know exactly who that is straight away. Um, I would, if I were you, I'd start with a grey base coat. And I would, then after the grey base coat, I would get a Rhinox Hide and then just paint in the sunset lines. Or, if you're good at airbrushing, like you are, um, you could probably tape it off. So let's copy what we did before on these edges on the other side. And again, on this hex shape here, let's paint these top five edges. Again, still using my, my Artis Opus size zero brush. You know, if you pulled your size zero brush out, you'd probably find it quite large. But like I say, this has got a nice point to it that I can work with. Yeah, as soon as you asked that question, mate, I knew exactly who that was. <laughs> Unless that's a massive coincidence. But, uh, yeah. I think we're a small enough community that we've... Uh, I could guess that one. But I hope you're well, mate. Okay, right. So, that is literally all of the little grey highlights done. And again, they're only they're only subtle um, because the main focal point on this model is going to be the outside of the wings and the and basically the the face of the Inquisitor. So what we're going to do now? So that's the main section done. Like I say, it still looks very dark, and you can just see those highlights. Bring it a bit closer to the camera. You can still see those highlights, and literally. You know, you'll only see the centre section there because that's all we've painted so far. And then on the back as well, you can see these highlights. Um, you know, they're all just very subtle. You know, this isn't the focal point of the model. This is just getting everything clean and tidy with some tight, tight, tidy lines uh, to make it work.